Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. Come it like a cherry. Come it like a cherry. Your oh, boy done switched up on you. Come it like a cherry. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. You guys, look, if this is your very first time to this channel, run over there and subscribe for me. And then after you subscribe, make sure you hit the notification bell beside the word subscribe so that you'll be notified each and every time that we upload a video. And then, welcome to the Lips family. Now, now that you're part of the Lips family, there's just something that I need for you to do. That thing is comment, comment, comment like share and go take for the team. Comment like share and go take for the team. Comment, like, and share, and don't forget to comment, like, and share. Comment, like, and share. Comment, like, and share. Don't forget to comment, like, and share. Comment, like, and share. Comment, like, and share. Don't forget to. Don't forget to comment, like, and share. Okay, you guys, we're going to pray and get right into the food. Amen. Okay, you guys, we ain't going to delay. I told you we weren't going to do that no more. Big Ben is in the building, baby. Big Ben is here. Big Ben is here to help me out. I know he's refreshing. He has Diet Coke in him today. Let's see. Yes, he is. You guys, today we have turkey necks and we have squash and zucchini mix. Back here, I have got the little bit of jalapenos, the little ones I told you that I like. I've got them. And obviously, you know, I got the little hot sauce on the side. I've got Tabasco over there. And I've got the regular jalapenos. We have some sweet peppers here. I may eat some of them. I don't know. They're really for decoration. But that's all right. Okay, you guys. Here we go. So how are y'all doing today? You doing okay? Y'all want to piece some of the squash? Squash and zucchini mix. Let's get some of this Lips Hot Sauce out here, honey. There goes your first turkey neck. Mmm. 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 That's hard, but I'm not saying it. So I do have a topic today. But I'm going to eat me a little something before I talk about it, though. Mmm. I hope you all are doing great. Mmm. 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 Oh, it's hot. This lips hot sauce is hot today, honey. There you another piece of the turkey neck. Mmm. 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 Yeah, these good. Mmm. So these turkey necks. That's how easy to cook. And you're gonna clean it so there ain't nothing on that bone. Ain't gonna be nothing on now. No meat left behind. No meat left behind. So I wanted some of these little bitty jalapenos. Because, like I told you, I love them. Mm. 
Y'all, you talking that you got to suck all the meat out of them. We get them clean. But they're really, really good. But anyway, so to cook them, you got mm, get them and wash them up real good. After you wash them up real good, y'all, you're gonna take oh, it squashes the vine. You're gonna take and put them in some water. I don't put mine in a whole bunch of water. You know, like they float in the water. I don't do that. <coughs> Excuse me. I put them in the water to where. Mm -hmm. The wires is like barely open. I'm putting some of the Tabasco on y'all. Now I'm gonna put me some lips hot sauce on. Uh. Like that right here. So anyway. Well, like I said, you clean them up real good. And I don't put a lot of water in mine. I just put like the water like right over them. Because they break down pretty quick. Cut you up a whole onion in there. Mm-hmm. Then, I put garlic salt. And season the salt. Mm. Black pepper and celery. That's how I cook mine. Mm. You cook them the same way in a quiet pot too. And uh, you know in a regular pot. Mm. And then you just boil them or quiet pot them until they get to the consistency that you want. Mm. I don't like, mm, like a lot of problems, pulling the meat off of them. I just want to be able to suck the meat off. So I cook mine until they'll still stand up and keep their form, but they're falling off the bone. Mm. When they get about done, I put butter on them. I'm gonna let that butter, you know, just ooze down through the juice. Cause you ain't got a whole lot. So it accept the seasoning really well. Mm. Because you don't have a lot of water on them. You know, cause when you put a lot of water in the foods and then you put your seasoning, including butter, and it, that seasoning disperses throughout the whole pot. So when it does, it takes away from some of the effectiveness of the seasoning when you have a whole lot of seasoning in there. Well, I'm sorry, a whole lot of water now. Mm. They're kind of tough to eat on screen sometimes because it takes a lot of work to them. Well, a lot of sucking anyway. To get all of the meat out of them. It takes a lot. But they are divine. Mm. Mm. 
So like I tell you, I got a topic today. I have a topic today. I think it's an important topic too. Like I said, when I get over here, I don't really have a plan. I just kind of go with it. Ooh. Y'all, these things is good. You see them now? I want you to see the whole thing all the way around. You see it? It's good. Mmm. So the topic today is like a two question topic, okay? Mm. So what I wanted to say is, y'all is so good I can't stop eating. And if you don't believe that, you have lied to me. And I know you lied. Period. <laughs> now, I was outside to look. The first part of the question is, or the first question is, what do you think about yourself? What do you think about you? How do you view yourself? I mean, do you view yourself as being woman pretty, man handsome? How is your self esteem, basically? And for two, not only how do you view yourself, how do you treat yourself? How do you treat yourself? Add another piece. Mm. Because the way that we receive others and the way that we accept and deal with others has a lot to do with how you view yourself. It really does. Now, I've been around people before that I have gotten mad at because they let people walk all over them. And I'm like, why do you let them do you like that? And I have been told before well, I'm just a nobody, or I'm just one of the little people. So it don't matter. They don't mean any harm. You would be amazed at how many people think so less of themselves that they would allow people to treat them any kind of way. But I don't understand it. Because my self-worth, my own self-worth, me, talking about myself, I'm going to believe in me. And I'm going to believe that I am, I deserve the utmost respect at all times. I mean, I am. You can't walk around feeling less than than other people. You can't do that. You can't do that, you guys. You have got to think enough of yourself to know that you are worthy. To be treated nice, to be treated with respect. You know, know your own self worth. You can't walk around feeling beneath people. Or feel like that you don't deserve the best because you do. I have seen people before that are so invested in being friends with people or wanting people to be their friends. If they do crazy stuff, like trying to buy people's friendship and crazy stuff like that. If I got to buy you be my friend, 
I won't have none. You know you're on the right channel, baby. You know you're on the right channel. <laughs> Y'all. <coughs> Excuse me. I let it slid twice. Which I guess I should have just went on. That pepper just almost went down the wrong a pipe right then. Which I guess I should have just went on and done the first time because I knew I wouldn't waste something there. But anyway, I want you to take inventory of yourself. Take inventory of yourself. And think really, think about how you view yourself. What do you feel like you deserve? What do you feel like you deserve? I mean, because if you don't feel like that you deserve what you do deserve, you'll let people walk all over you. I mean, you will. I mean, you just will. And people can read that. They can read when your self-esteem is not what it needs to be and treat you accordingly. They will treat you just like you feel about yourself. They'll treat you the same way. Like, you don't deserve the extra common courtesy if they bump into you to say, oh, excuse me, that's how they'll treat you. You know, they'll treat you like a second-class citizen. If you don't believe in yourself, you got to believe in yourself. And then, like I said, secondly, how do you treat yourself? How do you treat yourself? I mean, do you devalue yourself? When you're in your free time, do you take yourself out to the movies? You know, do you take yourself out to dinner? Do you take yourself shopping? Or do you spend all your time and energy, if you have children, making sure that your children are straight and don't worry about yourself? You know, do you get up and go to the store? Excuse me, y'all. Do you get up and go to the store and look at a mess? I see people all around town in sleep clothes. Look at a mess. Out in town now. I ain't seen them all that way before. So how do you treat yourself? You know, I've always told you, before my mom passed, she always told us that people will only respect you as much as you respect yourself. So if you don't respect yourself and you don't treat yourself well, how do you expect for others to treat you well? You have to treat yourself with the utmost respect. And even us that have children, you should take some time and set aside just for you. You know, you should take a week where when you got things pretty much handled, you know, and your extra money that week is for you. Your extra money that week is about your outfit. Or whatever you're into, a video game or a flower arrangement, something that makes you happy. It could be anything. You could collect two picks. My point is, you cannot always put yourself second. Now, those of us that have children, I know how we do. Their happiness and what they want is always so important. And because we are, you know, because we are adults, because we are adults, we always put ourselves second behind our children. 
which is nothing wrong with that. But it's going to come a point in time where you've got to realize that even with your kids, you've got to put yourself first. If you don't, who do you expect to put you first? Who? I mean, on this earthly earth. You know what I mean? Down here with us. Because you always first in God's eyes, no matter what. But down here. But if you don't know how to put yourself first, how do you expect for your husband to know how to put yourself first? I know that there are people that in the world that are just givers. And there are people in the world that are takers. It's been that way since the beginning of time. That's just what that is. But, like I said, how you treat yourself? When you figure that out, when you figure out what you think about yourself and how you treat yourself, I guarantee you that's a direct reflection on how others treat you too. I bet you dear. You've got to know that you are important. And there's going to come a time when you have some needs, they have to go before your children. There's going to come some time when your needs are going to have to go before your parents. Sister, brother, so on and so forth. Don't let people take advantage of you. You know, don't let people... Because people will make you feel like you're a second-class citizen. You got really real. A person see you got a low step of steam. A baby. You know how I told you uh, in a few videos ago how they look, look down their nose at you, honey? Honey, you got to be careful. Also, that computer go one y'all send me a message. I put a community post up from Tosh Time. Shout out to Tosh Time. Uh, from Tosh Time the other day with Steve Harvey. No, yesterday. Uh, and it was by Steve Harvey. If you haven't looked at it, I ain't going to spoil it for you. Go look at it. And know uh, that that's something that you need to hear. Especially when it comes to friends and family. Like I said, when Steve Harvey broke it down, like contacts in your phone, they'll tell you what you need to do. So anyway, y'all, I'm going to get up out of here. Y'all just me, it was good. It was real good. At first, I went ahead and just a bunch of turkey dicks. I just decided. Hmm. Hmm. That's the last minute to add the squash. But anyway, y'all better get up out of here. <laughs> Whoever that today's message was supposed to reach, I hope it reaches you. All of you know, every one of you that are watching this, know that you are important. And it starts with how you treat yourself. It starts with how you view yourself. That's, how, that's where it starts at, how you view yourself and how you treat yourself. Because when you don't treat yourself right, when you don't view yourself right, you unconsciously give other people the permission to view you not the way you want to be viewed or not to treat you right. Unconsciously, that's what you've done. So it all starts with you. Know you're important. Know I love you. Know God loves you. And we're going to see you next time. Y'all, we finna get up out of here. And I'm not finna go to ramming on. I'm not finna do it. I'm finna go. I hope you guys have enjoyed. There goes somebody else. Email me again. Big B says good night. <laughs> you guys. Treat yourself right. Feel good about yourself. 
or feel better about yourself. And as many days as you feel better about yourself, one day you will feel good about yourself. Find triggers and mechanisms that you need to make yourself feel good. Whether it be get up and look in the mirror every day and tell yourself that you're beautiful. Whether it be if you have to get up every day and put on threads from head to toe, like you're going to go to church. Whatever makes you feel special, do that. Do just that, okay? Now, with that being said, y'all, we're going to get up out of here. We're going to close. We're going to close. What y'all want me to do? What y'all want me to do? I got to remind you to comment. Comment. Comment like you share and go take for the team. Comment like you share and go take for the team. Comment like you share and don't forget to comment like you share. Comment like you share. Comment like you share. Don't forget to comment like you share. Comment like you share. Comment like you share. Don't forget to don't forget to comment like you share. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, y'all. You guys look. Remember, when obstacles come up in your life, there's always more than one way home. All you start to do is get there. So get there, people. Get there. I love you all. And I'm going to see you guys next time. If you're not here to watch me next time, you have lied to me. And I know you lied. Period. You guys, don't forget to love, appreciate, and treasure yourself. I'm going to see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Okay. I saw you over there trying to hold Romeo back. I heard him. I heard him. I saw him. I heard him when he came down the stairs. Making up all that noise. I feel good today. You do? I did. I hope so. I feel good today. I hear what you're saying. It's pretty fun. Good, good, positive reinforcement. I know, but I'll be able to tell you, that food would be so good, I'd be forgetting to, um, that food's so good, I'd be forgetting to, um, I don't know, it'd be like I don't get to, like when I get through most of the time, it's like I don't feel like I be done giving them what they need. It'd be like I don't be done, I be knowing where I'm going with it, but I don't be delivering the right words to really let them know how important that they are or how special that they are or, you know, to build them up to make sure that they know that, I mean, I'm going to be most important. Well, I'm going to be most important first because I can't be good to my child. You know what I'm saying? If, if. I just don't know. Sometimes I just feel like that I don't be giving them what they need sometimes. Maybe you overthink it a little bit. That's probably the case. You, you overthink it. You're giving them exactly what it is. You just, you, you just need to calm, calm down, slow yourself down a little bit. And you, you're going you know, to take a little time. When I be calm, it just be like, when I get off the camera, I be like, dang, I should have said that. Or dang, I should have said that. You're overthinking it. You're overthinking it. You are excellent. You are excellent. Show me you, you whatever. And then you're giving them the peace. Anyway. Well, I'm obviously going to be excellent to you because you married me. Exactly. Come get this Sebastian by the door. What? What? What album? You drop and you drop. How you drop a whole bottle of Sebastian? I don't know, huh? I would jump around here doing something and fell off that table. That's all right. <coughs> anyway, I think I got something on my shirt again. No, I did. I got. Don't worry about. It. I got it. This production job. Here. Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! If you did one thing, if you did push that notification button in that bell, you have lied to me. And I know you lied. Period.